So I've had this really annoying issue with my uh, my vibrato arm. First of all, stop calling it a tremolo. It's not a tremolo. Um, basically, every time I use it, it switches down. It falls right back into that downward position. I was searching around online to find a solution to this, and it turns out there's actually supposed to be a little spring that goes inside this hole where the tremolo arm goes. I'll drop a picture to stumac.com where you can find that. And as I was reading the reviews, I came across a person that complained that his bridge had a hole in the back, so the ball end and the spring just fell right through. And I'm glad I saw that because now I know that that solution won't work for me, but also um, I don't know how common these bridges are. I don't know if every single Strat bridge has a hole. This guitar is a 1998 Mexican Strat, but yeah, I thought it might be fun to try something different out. do my best to try and show you this here um, and again I don't know if this is just on my guitar or if this is on every Strat or just the Mexicans or what but if you can see a little shiny piece here that's actually the bottom of the tremolo arm sticking through vibrato not tremolo <laughs> this might be pretty funny I'm just gonna take the vibrato arm here and thread it backwards through the back of the guitar And obviously it fits perfectly because, you know, science. And you've got a vibrato bar on the back of the guitar. You may have seen before that sometimes country guys will have what's called a B-bender on the back of their Telecaster guitar. It doesn't have to be a Telecaster, but it usually is. It just has to be any guitar that has a string through body. And they pretty much, they route out the back side of it so that they pull either the B or the G or maybe both strings through it and they attach a mechanism to the belt. Every time they pull the guitar away from them, it'll bend up on one of those strings, usually set to either a half step or a whole step. On strats, you can kind of fake this playing behind the nut. So I'm just playing a major chord, a, uh, an E-shaped bar chord, and then on the G string, since your third is there, you can push on that string behind the nut and take it up a half step. So it brings it to the sus chord and then back down. That's kind of the concept behind it. The, um, the B bender would attach to your belt buckle and every time you move the guitar, it essentially does that for you. So what might be fun about the vibrato arm is that since it's attached to the back of the guitar now, you can kind of do something similar. Of course it's backwards, so I pull back on the guitar now and it presses the vibrato arm into the guitar. And if you want a downwards motion, maybe attach it to your belt buckle. So, I'm going to see if this is useful. I'm going to try to play a song with it. sloppy but you get the idea right there's got to be someone out there using this already too I think let me know in the comments if you know of anyone and guys let me know what strat you have and if this works with it I know not all strat bridges have a hole that goes straight through all the way to the back um, it just so happened to work out with mine I'd love to hear what models you have and if it works or not and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button it helps me out a lot and you'll be notified when I post new videos